Beautiful sunrise. You guys see this? The sunrise. Really pretty. Oh, yeah, I saw that yesterday. Morning, Jennifer. Morning. Can you at least wiggle your fingers? Oh, see, she's alive. <laughs> The last of our uh, one bundle all night. So that was our one bundle last night. We had a couple pieces left over. Throw those in this morning. Warm camp up. Gonna be a warm day today. I'm already making power. We uh, went down to 63% uh, last night, which is not bad at all, considering we went down to 55 the night before. But I tuned it up the fridge I turned it up from uh, 18 to 25 you can see there it's a 25 I figured uh trying to find a little sweet spot that it doesn't freeze everything in the fridge so I think now we got everything nice and cold and the frozen stuff's good and frozen so it's uh I tuned it down to 25 see how that works definitely used less energy because we were only topped out at 80 six percent so we did good on energy wise for uh the evening on the fridge it went down from 86 to 63 not too bad and we're already making uh 40 watts this morning i bet you that's going up even that sun feels bright so i bet you that's uh cranking some watts this morning oh yeah it's already making 40 watts of power very happy jackery has uh made it able for us to extend our uh, length of stay that's for sure so this is uh we stayed uh, this is our second night here second day friday night saturday today's sunday i think today's sunday yeah. yeah today's sunday so we said we had two nights here friday night saturday night today's sunday we're gonna pack up and move somewhere else and uh go see what we can see find what we can find Okay, view of our camp, we're all packed up. Jennifer picked up a bunch of shells from uh, shooters. She took a couple bags full of shells out of the area. So this is where the tent was right there and the campfire. And two rigs ready to roll fridge uh was uh holding about 25 degrees uh we were 86 when i unplugged we were charging it like uh oh gosh 72 watts or something like that so now i cranked her on max she's uh drawing uh 85 from the jeep uh, alternator now and the fridge is on max so uh See, it's still it's uh, generating twice as much power as the fridge is using. So uh, we should uh, top off the uh, Jackery battery here in our little trip. Yeah. And we're going uh, north here, adjacent to the uh, border of uh, Port Irwin. We're in the Coolgardie region. We're going to go into the Black Mountain region next. And we hope to end up towards the Randsburg area. So we'll see where we go. Well, we're going to kind of hug the uh the border of the bases here we're staying on dirt right yeah oh yeah we're on dirt we're on dirt till we get to Randsburg. right so we're got quite a few miles of dirt left <laughs> all right let's rock and roll yeah. you can see my disconnect sway bar links my high-tech uh, method oh let's push that uh. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna need fender soon. Firewood, Gatorade, let's rock and roll. Onward.
in Scription Canyon. We got some uh, petroglyphs here to the right. some neat ones. Oh, look at that, some mountain goats. A star thingy. A blender. Making margaritas. Looks like a cactus or something over there. Uh, alien Martian descending from the spaceship down to the natives to show them how to plant corn. That's what that one says right there. That's sure. Oh, look at these ones. An early uh, rendition of Mickey Mouse. And uh, they're playing soccer over there. And that's a uh, coach is trying to show them. Kick it through the net. Look at that. All kinds of neat stuff. All this rock down here in the bottom is all smooth from when it uh, used to have water flow. Very neat. We got a couple on this side too. Must have been a popular area when there was water in the dry lake bed over there. Might have had water too. So I imagine they could hunt and fish. Oh, we got a little hole over here. See if a bobcat jumps out at me. Everything on the sunny side, not too much on the shady side. Shady sites, mostly graffiti. Very neat. This is uh, before they came out with uh, the BFG KM threes and the KO twos. See, they had the old uh, all terrains there with that tread pattern. That's what the Indians are showing us there. This one over here looks like a spaceship dropping an alien down to earth or something right here. So you got the spaceship up there. Ooh, and there comes the man form down to earth here. See? Ancient uh, alien theory or what is that? The <laughs> shows with that guy with the crazy hair. Somebody might have broken one off there. That's too bad. And that's why they put a fence up and closed it off. 
artifact thieves. Can't be like us and just take pictures. There you go, Inscription Canyon. Some neat ones, I like the blender over there. These are good right here. Looks like a big horn. And look at somebody took a big old, it's a big section right there is missing. Somebody chipped it off. Look at a yield sign and a menorah. Oh, almost like a Thunderbird over here. Going up to the spacecraft, rising up. Look at this one. A few of these uh, checkerboards with uh, rays coming out of them. One down here too. Looks like somebody stole another chunk there. Oh, look at that. Sexy lady and a dog, too. How lucky am I? She jeeps, she says. It says on her shirt, I jeep. What does your shirt say? I jeep, therefore I kick ass. <laughs> Uh, there you go. I think that this looks like people. Some of them look like they're mad, you know, like they're... People, yeah. Very uh, new. <laughs> yeah. Very neat. All right, we'll check the map. We're in the Black, uh, what do they call this? The Black Mountain region? Black Mountain region, I believe. So I think we're going to head further north, though, into the, uh, the next one is either, uh, what's that, Cuddleback, Cuddleback uh, area? Yeah. That's what's next for us, I think. And then after that is uh, the Ransburg region. We've, uh, over here towards the Cuddleback area, we're adjacent to the Grass Valley Wilderness, which is all that area there to our right. And we're hoping to come up on a T in the road to head to the right in a place called, that I see on the map, it's called Blackwater Well. That's where we're aiming for that area. We can't promise we'll get there because some of these roads that are on my map are now closed or gated. And we are very near uh, the uh, China Lake Naval Weapons Center. Oh, here we got a sign here. Maybe this is what I want. Maybe this is my road. Let's see. Oh, well, you have arrived at a T. Let's see what the sign says. Yes. Then this is a corridor. That's what we're looking for. All right, this is our road. All right, we're just gonna try it out. One seven, and we're in the Rand Mining District now, RM. So we left the BM, which is Black Mountain. Now we're in the Rand Mining District, and we're on 1777. And this road goes right through the middle of the Grass Valley Wilderness area. And we're hoping on the other side of it is where we're gonna find Blackwater Well. There's Cuddleback Dry Lake right there. We're right now smack dab in the middle of the uh, Grass Valley uh, Wilderness. And I'm waiting for Jennifer. She should be coming up behind me. And we're back. 
back then. See her yet? I don't see her yet. There she is. There she comes. There's Jennifer. All right, that's Cuddleback Dry Lake right there to our left. Oh, okay, roger that. And that must be the 20 mule team road going straight through the middle of it. Oh yeah, I see it. it says we're still a few miles from it though, like uh, five miles. Little uh, rough uh, pass through the uh, Grass Valley Wilderness. This road here, 1777. I see some dust down there by the dry lake bed. All right, I'll pick you up where it says we're still uh, five miles from our cut off 12 minutes. So let's see how long it takes us to get there. We have located Blackwater Well, California. Looks like a little cow town watering hole area. It has some corrals, some water tanks, and it looks like the well was right here. There's, uh, you can see where they have a pump. It used to be a pump, pump up water. So uh, we've moseyed around. We're looking for the best place to camp out. There's a little spot over there it looks like it's all set up got a fire pit and everything a few benches looks like a some shade trees too so we might most likely I think that's gonna be the spot let's mosey around here a little bit see what we see I was hoping by some miracle chance there would be there's a lot of owls but I was hoping there'd be some water but uh, I don't see no uh, no water uh, okay, we want to camp over there, so I'm going to see if this loops to the left at all. This does. Let's see red. Oh, let's go this way. To the right, or behind me right now, that's all uh, Grass Valley, and I think that thing in front of me is on the base. Because we're like in a little nook here between the wilderness in the base, the the China Lakes uh, Navy Airfield, I think it's Naval Airfield. So here, easy look, I wonder if it's worth a shot to take a look this way. It's supposed to dead end up here. Let me look at the map real quick, see what I got going on. Hot dogs are on the boil. Yeah. Camp Blackwater Well. Making some dogs. Jennifer's hungry. So before she gets hangry, I'm gonna cook up these dogs. And uh, the Jackery, we're still making more juice than we're using. I got her at high right now because it got unplugged while we were driving. So it went down a couple degrees. It went down to 33, but I think it's back up now. Oh, and I'm not done working on that either. 
I got everything all out and open. <laughs> okay, better get back to work. Jennifer's little ice thing here is getting icy. Put that in there. Oh, she can have some ice. In her baskets. set up. It appears this was the old residence of wherever the rancho uh, because uh, we have a couple different trees here that have died and then over here looks like it might have been the fruit orchard. You can see there there is a, a few different types of trees that once they stopped getting watered they died. They didn't make it out here. There's two big footings over here I'm not certain if that might have been a porch to a residence where it looks, uh, I don't know, it doesn't look quite like a porch. So, uh, where I'm parked, I think, might have been uh, because I see these, uh, you know what they call those uh, desert trees? They're all planted in like a windbreak. So I think somebody might have stayed right in here. You would have put a windbreak, and here's the driveway. But, I don't know. That's just my guess. Neat little spot, though. Great views. I believe uh, that's the base over there. It looks like some mining right here and over here. Definitely some mining up there. And over the hill, the road goes a little ways till it dead ends. We might take it tomorrow, take see where it goes. But uh, I took a little bit of it. I thought I could uh, run to the end and back real quick, but it goes farther than I expected. Uh, but the base is right there. That's where uh, China Lakes is. And I think this little thing, this uh, structure, whatever this is, is I probably part of China Lakes too, I think. Because they're right in it like a notch where it steps. China Lakes is kind of steps around us. And we just got out of the uh, grasslands wilderness, grass valley wilderness. And then this is a, a little chunk of BLM here, this uh, black water well. So with water, this place must have been happening. Got quite a few tanks, so I'm wonder if they had a slow trickle and they just kept filling tank after tank after tank. But nothing has there. I don't know sign of water now. Makes you wonder if the well ran dry.
We passed a couple of camp spots that even had uh, grills. <laughs> this one has a couple fire pits here. Looks like this might have been the cook fire on this side. Could have maybe been for heat fire. All kinds of junk here. Pipe, shocks. And there's this fire pit. Quite a few water tanks. A couple more back there. There's another one laying on the side further up. Water is definitely a premium out here. Jackery was down to 81% this morning, but I charged all three of my Makita batteries, so uh, dropped it down to like 66%. And I, while I was charging the Makita batteries, I uh, plugged into the Jeep and had the engine running to offset because that's a lot of juice. It sucks for those three batteries. And uh, then we've been back on solar here for a couple hours. We're already back up to 70%, so I'm very pleased. This thing, this jackery is uh, it's the bee's knees. Best thing since sliced bread. So we're about uh, to drop the tent, and that's the last of our stuff. Uh, we gotta do is roll up, drop the tent, and uh, pick up our last of our little bits, tidbits, and we're outie. We were getting fly by a couple morning. We even got a wing dip. <laughs> but I'm too slow on the camera to catch him. All right, we're gonna head out of here. Uh, we're headed to uh, towards Ridgecrest. We'll resupply. We'll probably get some uh, get some fuel and. Uh, Maybe some eggs. Other than that, I think we're in good shape. Our fridge is working good. It says we're an hour and 15 minutes out of uh, Ridgecrest. Oh, I know what I want to do. If we can stop by an auto parts store, see if I can find me a better uh, cigarette lighter connection for the fridge, because the fridge one's a piece of junk. And if I can find one uh, in Ridgecrest there at the auto parts supply, I'll uh, pick one up. All right, away we go. We're leaving uh, Blackwater Well and uh, we're headed to uh, Ridgecrest. Mm -hmm. 